A Dutch-owned trawler shed more than 100,000 dead fish into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of western France, forming a floating carpet of carcasses that was spotted by environmental campaigners. France Fisheries Minister Annick Girardin described the images as shocking and said there would be an investigation into the circumstances that led to the incident involving the FB Marjuries, the world's second biggest fishing vessel. The EU Commissioner for Environment, Oceans and Fisheries, Virginijus Sinkovicius, said he was seeking exhaustive information and evidence about the case. The spill, which happened early on Thursday, was caused by a rupture in the trawler's net said fishing industry group the Pelagic Freezer Trawler Association PFA, which represents the vessel's owner. In a statement, it called the incident a very rare occurrence. The fish are routinely used to mass-produce fish fingers, fish oil and meal, see Shepherd AFP via Getty image. In line with EU law, this has been recorded in the vessel's logbook and reported to the authorities of the vessel's flag state, Lithuania, said the PFA adding that the dead fish would be subtracted from the vessel's quota. An environmental group disputed that account, saying it was an illegal discharge of more than 100,000 unwanted fish. The French arm of Sea Shepherd first published images of the spill, showing the ocean surface covered by a 3,000 square m, 32,300 square feet, blanket of blue whiting, a subspecies of cod, used to mass-produce fish fingers, fish oil and meal. Sea Shepherd France said it did not believe the incident was accidental, but rather an attempt by the trawler to discharge a type of fish that it did not want to process, a practice known as discharging bycatch which is banned under EU fishing rules. Trawlers such as the Marjuries use drag nets more than a kilometre long and sift through the catch in onboard factories, despite heavy criticism from conservationists. After protests by activists, the Marjuries was forced to leave Australian waters in 2012. The vessel had a quota to haul 18,000 tonnes of fish from the sea but was banned by the then Labour Environment Minister Tony Burke following a public outcry. At the site of the images shared by at Sea Shepherd Fran, I asked the National Fisheries Monitoring Centre to shed light on this subject in order to identify the causes of these important discards of fish. Of course, these images are shocking, Ms. Girardin wrote in response to the incident. Data from marinetraffic.com on Friday showed the vessel, which is owned by the Dutch company Parlevliet and Van der Plas, was still engaged in fishing activities off the French coast.